Now, our other big story this morning, a historic and dramatic day is unfolding in D.C. Well, let's take a live look at the Capitol building where in just hours the House and Senate will meet to mark the beginning of the 118th Congress. Republicans will control the House, but it's still unclear if their leader, Kevin McCarthy, will have the 218 votes he needs to become Speaker. At least nine members of his own party appear to be holding out. Meantime, 82 new members of the House will be sworn in at noon. That includes the much-talked-about George Santos of Long Island. CBS News John Diaz live outside his campaign headquarters in Oyster Bay. And John, any word of what's happening with Santos today? Yeah, good morning to both of you. Well, despite all the lies that he told about his life story, George Santos, he remains confident that he will still be sworn in. Now, while he has not responded to our request for a comment, his constituents are letting their voices be heard, and so are members of his own party. Much of his backstory revealed to be a lie, but Long Island Congressman elect George Santos will be sworn in today. Other House Republicans are talking about their incoming colleague. This is troubling in so many ways. Uh, certainly, he has lied repeatedly. He's certainly going to have to consider resigning. He can try to politically uh, write it out, or he can take the tougher choice, which is own every lie that he's made, apologize to everyone and anyone. Many of Santos's constituents are not shy about their feelings, wondering. How is he getting away with it? You can't trust him. You can't trust anything he says. That is uh, no good. N nothing will work. I figure he got caught doing what a lot of other politicians are doing. Santos recently admitted to lying while campaigning about his Jewish ancestry, working for Wall Street banks, and obtaining a college degree. But falsehoods apparently began years before the Republican entered politics. And now, authorities from Brazil will bring back fraud charges against him, connected to a case from 2008 involving a stolen checkbook. Also in question, his net worth. Some local lawmakers ask, how did it rise by millions seemingly overnight? What is Mr. Santos's source of his newfound wealth? And others are questioning a loan that Santos says he made to his campaign. The $700,000 loan, nobody knows where it came from. And if that turns out to be money from someone else represented as his own, uh, that could be a felony charge under election law and perhaps other statutes as well. Now, later on this morning, both local politicians as well as his constituents, constituents say that they will be meeting here in front of his Long Island campaign headquarters for a rally. They are asking that he resigns. We are live this morning from Oyster Bay, Long Island. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.